If I were to ask you why does a cowboy have, have a big brim, you'd probably tell me what? Yeah, to keep the sun out of their eyes. Because in many parts of the West, there's no shade. In many parts of the West, again, the sun just beams down on you and your hat's your only shade. But Stetson did something else too. The Stetson Company did something else too. Stetson Company was saying that the cowboy hat could be used for more than just keeping the sun out of your eyes. It could be used like a bucket. And if you're traveling out west where there's not many rivers or creeks, and again, your horse needed something to drink, you use your hat as a bucket. A hat was a very practical device to have, and cowboys almost always kept their hats, always had hats, wore the hats almost all the time. I, so cowboys' hats were very much important of a cowboy's gear. Now, you notice that my sleeves are long. It wouldn't matter if it was 120, 130 degrees outside. Cowboys always wore long sleeves. They always wanted to protect much of their body as possible. And sometimes they might even have on a pair of underwear under, underneath these uh, cowboy outfit, BVDs as they're sometimes called, long johns. Uh, and you might think it would make them hotter, but actually the pers perspiration in fact has a cooling effect. So long sleeves are very much a part of the cowboy's gear. These are chaps. Uh, in fact, I, I, I helped to make these chaps myself. Uh, and again, they're additional protection for the cowboy's leg. Uh, bob wire, sticker, brush, all those kinds of things. Some even said that the chaps would protect you against a rattlesnake bite. So if a rattlesnake were to strike you, it would have to go through your chaps and maybe your boots, and it was added kind of protection. So it's a scarf, and of course cowboys wear scarves all the time. Some of them I've seen uh, from old photographs were so large that they come down this far on the cowboy. But the scarf was a very practical device. Uh, if you, for example, if you got cut, you could use it like a bandage. If you hurt your arm, you could use it like a sling. For example, driving cattle. Uh, the West is very dusty. Various parts of the West is very dusty. Wind blows all the time. It's very dusty. And if you're behind a thousand head of cattle, and you're riding what they call drag, you're breathing in dust all the time. Every time a cow would step down, it would kick up dust. And so cowboys would pull their scarves up over their face, and then would sometimes use a scarf to tie around a horse's nose to make it easier for a horse to breathe. But cowboys would sometimes add what they call jingle bobs to the spurs. You may have heard that little song. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle as I go riding merrily along. Now, let me ask you, why would a, why would a cowboy want his spurs to jingle, jangle, jingle? Jingle bobs. One reason that you had jingle bobs on your spurs is so that even if you weren't singing, you weren't humming, you weren't whistling, and even if the horse was just standing stationary, just the slight shifting of the horse would keep those jingle bobs ringing. Because if it was ever perfectly quiet, any sound could spook those cows. If a horse stepped on a twig and it snapped, if a rattle, rattle, any rattlesnake would have to rattle, any of those kind of things could spook the cow. So the jingle bobs was a way of, again, making sure that it was never perfectly quiet so that it was less likely they'd have a stampede. So that's why they had jingle bobs. Uh, this is a, a lariat, so folks call it a lasso, etc. And so cowboys had to be very adept at you how, and he would catch a, a, a horse at full gallop, a horse running 25, 30 miles an hour, lasso that horse and snatch that horse off his feet. Mm. I even came across a story once where it said a cowboy had saved a cowboy's life. And when I saw that title, again, I was somewhat intrigued by that. How could a hat save someone's life? But this cowboy was in an area where there were forests, and it says the fire was coming towards him, and he was afraid he was going to get burned up. He knew he could not run it. So he dug a trench with his boot, he laid down flat, he covered himself up with dirt, and then put the hat over his face like this. And that fire passed over him and continued to burn. And when he got up, he noticed that little embers had struck his hat. And that if he didn't have the hat over his face, they would have struck him in the face and he would have probably jumped up and would have died. So